Hey guys, Andrew Fisher, co-founder and CEO of Chusel. Um, thanks for having us in Cordell. Thanks for organizing it. And uh, you bet. Just give me the heads up when you open this switch. Oh, you're the, you're the man. You bet. Oh, very cool. Thank you. He's um, the man. Very, very <laughs> powerful. Um, so, what's Chusel? Just real quick, we're a simple end-to-end -end platform that allows any marketer to leverage data and drive that directly into the real-time advertising process. That's as far as I can go, I'm not supposed to pitch, but it's a really kick-ass platform, so if anybody wants to know anything about it, we're fine people. Um, well, we're going to talk about big data and programmatic, because as we've developed this platform, those are kind of the areas that we plan. So hopefully tonight's a little bit more of a conversation about those two key themes. And we think it's pretty important, you can go ahead. Um, talking about these marketing trends, because traditionally, I would say even just a few years ago, the quote-unquote big data was really only accessible to large-scale advertisers large-scale agencies that have the ability to employ um, several people, resources, often other platforms and agencies to access these powerful tools. And so what we've been witnessing, I think, of the last several years and accelerating each quarter very recently is the democratization of data and how that leads into programmatic advertising for many advertisers, not just the big ones as well. So next slide. So sorry this is kind of small here, but if you look at data in general, how it's impacting the productivity of companies across every spectrum, it's, it's pretty remarkable. At the top, you'll see retail, they have a productivity increase of over 49%, increase in sales of over 9.6 billion, almost 93% of companies believe data is essential to their success, yet 66% of companies really don't know what to do with data. So it's a huge market opportunity for companies that are leveraging data, helping companies make sense of it, and then making decisions. Again, we're more in the marketing sphere, but this goes across industry as well. Next slide. Um, you may have seen last week American Express, um, small company I'm sure you guys have heard of. 100% of their advertising is going to be moved to programmatic, which is a pretty cool stat. And for those of you who don't know what programmatic is, my simple definition is it's basically the execution of media and advertising online without really having to deal with many people. And so you're able to basically go into a system or a platform and know who you want to target and execute that very seamlessly. And so you can do it at scale with data without having to go to directly to ESPN to buy advertising for men and to another site just for females. So it's, it's making the complex very simple and scalable. And again, the advent of big data um, across programmatic media is becoming more and more accessible to advertisers across the spectrum. Next slide. So how can data make the most of small, medium-sized campaigns? And again, that's kind of the sphere that we play in, the ability uh, to leverage this data, access it, and apply it to campaigns. So, um, we may or may not have a client in the room that works for a CPG company. Um, and what they've been able to do is isolate, again, with big data, very uh, isolated segments within a platform and to run those campaigns. And to do this, they don't have to go to multiple agencies, they don't have to go to multiple uh, databases. The idea that the democratization of this data and the ability to plug it directly into real-time bidding and real-time advertising systems is accessible right now. So in this example, um, in the database you can find, for example, 19, 19 million people who've shopped at Walmart recently. And again, this can live right at your desktop, right in your fingertips. You can access this data, cross-reference it. I want Walmart shoppers, but I just want them in the state of Colorado, and I want people that are eco-conscious. Eco eco um, directly at your fingertips, you can run that media by directly all your fingertips. So the idea is that even the smaller players can now access this big data to do very targeted campaigns um, across the spectrum. Again, tools that were traditionally available only big, big companies and so forth. Next slide. And as important as the ability to access these particular data segments for the efficiency of campaigns, it also allows you to optimize quickly in real time as well. You don't have to pick up the phone and call someone. You don't necessarily have to um, reach out to multiple vendors to kind of figure out what's going on with your advertising dollars. It's right there and accessible at your fingertips. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of wrap it up there, and it's, it's interesting to see the way the big data, uh, a couple of topics that may come up in questions that I think are interesting, uh, tangential to the subject is, you know, privacy concerns about data, um, the, the current state of online advertising, which there's a lot of potential bots and uh, fraudulent traffic as well, I think are interesting topics for discussion as well that really are in this sphere. Um, yeah, we'll kind of leave it there, and it's exciting to see where the Unleashing the power of big data for everyone in the ecosystem and also the efficiency of the real-time media buying where it's taking a lot of small businesses and agencies. So thanks for your time, guys. All right.